Hi, and welcome to what I hope is the first in a series of vlogs as opposed to just written blogs. For my first guest, I have Mr. Alan Eidelman, who is our eighth grade Holocaust Studies teacher. Mr. Eidelman, can you explain what our eighth grade students are doing behind us and what this is? This is called a stumbling stone. It will eventually be a stumbling stone. This is the working uh, model for it. The Stumbling Stone Project has started in Germany. Uh, people are returning to the homes of relatives who the Nazis are murdered during the Second World War, and they are placing stones similar to this with their names and where they lived. And I uh, have chosen to do this here because one of our guest speakers was Edith Manneker, who was a kinder transport survivor who returned to Leipzig this summer where she placed stones at the entrance to the homes of her mother, father, and her grandmother. And um, I've incorporated it into the curriculum to teach the kids um, some significance to the Holocaust. Uh, they have understood what happened to all of those children, and these are being done to honor the memory of those uh, dead kids. So can you explain a little bit about the process and what they're doing? The process is um, they have created their own design. As you can see, this one, it actually says the word Jew in German, and it's incorporated within a brain. And um, what is going to happen with this is the, the frame or the model. This is going to have a plastic form melted down over it to create the impression as you can see the intricate work here and eventually what we will do with that plastic frame is we will pour uh, cement into it and the cement will harden and you will be able to see all of the detailing as you can see here and it will visit the Holocaust Center to be shown for a few weeks but their permanent home will be in the Hillel Garden here literally outside those windows behind me. This seems like a very uh, authentic and meaningful project that really helps the students to connect to Holocaust studies and to really understand that real lives were impacted and so many Jews were lost during the Shoah. That's correct. And of course, understand that our eighth graders today, in about 20 years, they'll obviously be adults. And in maybe 20, 25 years, maybe 30, hard to say. Uh, there won't be any survivors left. And so these eighth graders become the next generation of continuing the story so that everybody can understand the evil that happened uh, and the unnecessary loss of life uh, all across Europe. And so for me, it is obviously a very important project. And the kids have done, as you can see, an excellent job. And like the girls who designed this told me that the image is that... Uh, the uh, Jews who died in the Holocaust will forever be remembered by them, and hence the brain. Thank you, Mr. Eidelman, for you. sharing this awesome project with us. Thank you. And thank you.